Hi, and thank you for watching. This video will cover how to use your command and control features on your DSC 9057 and PASA with GSM. After the technician has set up the command and control features on your alarm system and your phone, you are ready to go. The command and control features use your phone's text messaging services, so standard text rates do apply. I'm going to be using my iPhone today, but you can do this with any assigned phone with text messaging. Here's what you can do remotely. You can arm, you can disarm, you can check your status, and in the event of an incident, retrieve the alarm memory. For this demonstration, I'm just using a code I plugged in. Uh, you will not be able to use my code uh, as everybody's phones are programmed in independently to the system. So just a random person cannot log into your alarm. It has to be with an assigned phone. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go in to my text messaging. I'm just going to pop out text messaging. I called mine alarm just to make my life easier right here. So you can break it down a few different ways. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I know my system's disarmed because I have it disarmed right here. So I'm going to go ahead and arm it in stay mode. Stay mode arms the doors, the windows, and all the peripherals except for the motion detectors. This is the same as your stay alarm that you set at night or however you would set your system. So it breaks down this way. I'm going to type in stay, space, arm, space, and then a code. I'm going to click send. Give it about uh, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, depends how long it, it takes to send the information over. What you're going to get out of this is the same or very close to what it says here when I check my status, which I'll go over. It's going to say your security system. It'll say the date. It'll say the time. Partition one is always going to show up because these systems, the impostors, are only one partition. Here we go. Uh, security system 0401 11. Uh, apparently, I have the wrong year on here. At uh, 8:38 a.m., it went into stay arm. Partition one successful. So now I know my system is now armed in stay mode. So that's one way to disarm your system, like. What, what I do when my pest control guys come over uh, and I'm not at home and I need to dis, uh, disarm my system. I'm just going to type in disarm space and then my code and click send. Uh, make sure nobody gets a hold of your phone because they can get a hold of codes and they possibly could mess with your system. So be very protective of this information. So I just click disarm space and then my code. I'll give it a few seconds and see what comes up on here. Okay, so my system just disarmed. It says security system 0401 11 839 AM disarm partition one successful. In the event that it is not successful, instead of saying the word successful, it'll just say unsuccessful. It means you could have a door or window open or something that would not allow your system to arm or disarm. So we just did stay arm right there. Here's how you would arm away. Pretty much the same thing. You're gonna type in away, space, arm, space, and then a code. Click send. I'm going to try to force it to give myself an unsuccessful because uh, in, when it's in stay mode, you want to put it in away. You have to disarm it and go back and away arm. Uh, you can't just go from stay arm and type in away arm in your code because uh, it will show unsuccessful, which is what I'm going to hopefully do here in a minute. So let's see what happens. Yep, security system date, time, away arm, partition one successful. So my alarm is now counting down and uh, getting ready to fully arm. So I'm going to try to cause an unsuccessful just so you can see what an unsuccessful looks like on here. So let's see what happens.
as this is going through, I, I do want to ask, uh, please look at your, your user guide for the information because I'm only going to be covering a few major uh, common programming. There we go. Unsuccessful. Because we were already in away arm, going from away arm to stay arm will always give me an unsuccessful. So I'm going to go ahead and disarm this. I am not home right now, and I know my dog is probably freaking out why the alarm keeps beeping on it. Uh, but as I was saying a minute ago, uh, the user guide covers a lot more steps. You can you can get it to jump through hoops if you need it to, but I'm only going to be covering the main arming and disarming uh, and uh, two other major things. So while I'm letting that queue up, if you're ever curious as to you left the house and you don't remember if you armed your system or disarmed it, there we got our successful. So system's now disarmed. What you can type to check and see the status is basically status request and then your code. And what this is going to do, it's going to give a it's basically going to let you know what's going on with your alarm. It's going to let us know if it was this, if it's disarmed, away armed, night armed, uh, stay armed, if there was an event. Uh, this, it's basically just going to tell you remotely what's going on with your alarm. There we go. Right now it's showing systems security system, yada, 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 partition one. Right now it's disarmed and ready. If I had a door or a window open, it would say disarmed, not ready. So that's just letting us know remotely uh, what the status of our alarm is. So a big one that I use quite often, because sometimes I forget the wording, because if you type in like here it says arm away or stay arm. If you type arm away or arm stay it will give you uh, an invalid prompt on there so uh, in case you forget what to type all you have to do is type the word help you don't have to put a code or anything just help and you usually get about three text messages on here that's why I just dropped down my keypad just so we can see everything we're just going to give a full breakdown of all the different features available for you. So right now, you can stay arm, away arm, night arm, I'm not going to go over, uh, disarm. If you have command outputs hooked in, you can activate your command output 1, output 2, output 3, output 4, deactivate command output 1, command output 2, command output 3, command output 4. You can bypass in case you need to remotely bypass a zone and then arm it, uh, you can bypass and you can unbypass. Right there is unbypass. Uh, what we just did, the status request. So you can see if your uh, system's armed or disarmed. Uh, alarm memory request. If there was an event, you received a phone call from the monitoring station and you're trying to figure out exactly what was going on. And if there is an alarm memory uh, being retained by the alarm. You can type in alarm space memory space request space and then your code and it will let you know if there was like a burglary event zone 2 it'll show up alarm memory request it'll say zone 2 event. Uh, the help which is what we just did that gives us all this information right here and then keypad message. These things do have the capacity to put a keypad message uh, across your screen. Uh, you can put just a few words like a note or uh, just a reminder on there. Uh, that one is a little tricky so I'm not going to go over that. You can read through your manual uh, if you want to try that. Usually you don't have to mess with that. That's just a pretty neat little feature on there. So because I'm not home, I'm going to go ahead and arm my system because I am not home right now. I did arm away because it should be away arm or I might have that backwards. That might be correct on there. Uh, let's see what happens because I messed those words up 
uh, away arm because you would typically say, well, I'm going to arm my system in a way, uh, just making sure there it is. It has to be away arm uh, because I got an invalid command. So now I'm going to type in away arm and my code. I wanted to see uh, specifically if I could get an invalid command on there. So wording and putting spaces in the correct spot do count because it doesn't know how to interpret that. Uh, so you would just away space arm or stay space arm and then a space and then your code. Everything but the help menu you have to put in your code. So let's see how my alarm does. Okay, so my alarm is now armed on here in away mode so my motion detectors are working at my house. Uh, this pretty well concludes our video. I, I do ask you can give us a call if you have information or you're interested in setting this up. You can give us a call at A1 Security Alarms at 1-800-881-2466. You can check out our website or you can go through the YouTube channel and check out some other videos for your system. All right. Thank you.